So what makes Martha's Vineyard actually special, it's not all the rich wealthy people who live here, it's actually the black history. It was one of the first places black folks could buy homes and live freely, and they painted their houses colorful colors, uh, almost like a resistance. It reminded me of Cape Town actually, um, except people were way nicer, black and white. I mean, in Cape Town, I got mistaken for working at the grocery store, only was like really rude to me. But here everybody was super, super nice, and they had the best lobster roll ever. Um, but if you know anything about the town, Oak Bluff is where most of the black folks live and Edgar Town is where most of the white folks live. And I'm, this is me strolling through um, Oak Bluff on my bike and I stopped at the Inkwell Beach. And of course it's called Inkwell for obvious reasons because most of the black folks went there. It's actually kind of messed up. So it's like, even though it was nice, it was still kind of, you know, tinge racism. Um, <laughs> but uh, I also got to see a lot of my friends and so many customers, you guys. So, so, so many Chromex customers, which was definitely um, energizing for me. So I was in for the night and then my friends were like, girl, come out to the club. It was midnight and so I went out. So you guys got to do it in the Martha's Vineyard. My tips are to do it nine months out. Get a house with some friends. Stay for two weeks. Oh, that's AJ from 106 and Park and Chris Lance from A16Z and Tiffany Sandy from Stimulus. Y'all, I saw Laura Maid. Lots of everybody. Everybody's here. Like everybody is here. So if you wanna make new friends and business or just more black friends, like this is definitely the place to be. I totally recommend.